Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Right and Down. It is a minimalist roguelike dungeon crawler that requires two keys to play. Can you guess what they might possibly be? Uh, we have been told to check out this game from Olenki, so that is what I'm going to be doing here today. New game. This is a very, very Slay the Spire character select screen. Uh, the game itself has nothing to, like, is not like that at all, though. Uh, I think we'll just check out this first character here, but it's cool that there's three in the demo here. We're checking out a Steam Next Fest demo, as we probably are going to do basically all week and maybe even next week. It's going to be like demo demo weeks, you know, uh, which is always a fun time for me. I love to check out like rapid fire new stuff. That's kind of what we do on this channel if you're new here. Uh, brutal Hack. You inflict four damage points to all enemies. Old Axe, two damage points to all enemies after a battle. All right, let's just check that out. But, uh, okay. Right and down, you say. Red Volcano. Brutal hack. You inflict four damage points to all enemies. So, ah, is this like a kind of like a recipe? If we go, if we go down and then right three times, we will brutal hack. And then our relic is after a battle, do two damage to all enemies. I'm assuming a battle is just if we run into somebody. Is there a a reason why we can't go down right so this is 15 damage down right right we'd have to do this which will inflict 10 burn on us not super interested in in taking that damage right now but i'm kind of sitting here and i'm like what uh, what's our other option here we could Fight. I mean, I guess, you know, what if we do two damage to everybody? It's probably like those games where uh, damage is also how much damage they do to me. Is it not? Like one of those kind of dungeon crawlers who do, who do it that way. Yep. Two damage to everybody. Gotcha. And okay. You can only go down and right, meaning, of course, that we have kind of locked ourselves in. If we go for this potion, we have to take this burn. And I don't know... If burn does damage to us as well. Uh, fire tablet. You inflict five damage to the enemy before battle if you're on a forest level. So that's like an item that we can buy, it looks like. Let's do it. So two damage to all. The potion, we cannot overheal. And now we've kind of locked ourselves into this. So I kind of want to just see what is this like. So ten burn. You can't heal while burned. It doesn't seem like it, uh, it does anything else to us aside from that okay oh this is neat so like each dungeon is kind of just its own puzzle go from the upper left to bottom right gotcha gotcha so i can't heal for a bit i can buy this i could pick up the armor i could go attack do we gain anything by killing enemies didn't have the money for that I don't know if we gain anything by killing them, if we or if we just don't lose something. Look, okay, so the ability saves in between levels there. That's actually really interesting. Oh my god, <laughs> we're gonna be so burnt if we go that way. But like, I feel like getting four damage to all enemies is a pretty good situation. So we can go. We could even go down. Right, 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 and do our ability again. This would be five. We would take zero damage. We'd go down to no armor. Um, alternatively, we could, could go down, down, right, because this will be free. Down. You add one point to all potion cards whenever you move to a potion card. Tell you what, let's, let's just start by doing that. This feels pretty free. Okay, four armor. We could move on to the potion slot, even though we're not going to get anything from it. Ah, okay. So killing enemies is indeed valuable. Good. I, I prefer it that way. I will say the um, sound effects can get up, go down a little bit and the rest can go up a little bit. Music's a bit wild, though, so. All right. Four armor. I could take a damage. Do I care? So what do we want to buy here? We don't, we don't have the ability to buy anything, so we might as well get kills. Again, I'll take one damage to gain an experience. I'm going to assume one damage 
for one XP is a good trade. Because that's all I can do. All I can do is assume on that. You add a six potion card to all future levels. There's so much money here. I do kind of want to go for it. I feel like I'm being maybe baited by my um, by my ability a little bit. I think I'm being baited by Brutal Hack. It's very good. Don't get me wrong. It's very good. But I think I'm being a little bit baited. So we can't get all these. We can only go down or right. We could go right down here. Oh my god. These are it's pretty spicy though. If we go all the way this way and then all the way down, we are going to be taking quite a bit of damage. We'll take nine. I also don't want to get... I, you know what? Let's start getting uh, rid of the burn. Let's just deal with that. Like, obviously I can't do anything with this, but I, I think it's okay. If I go right twice, I will AoE everybody now, which I think is a little bit better. And it also looks like it happens before I land on the tile, which is very convenient. Down. Down. Okay, so we took quite a bit of damage, but we also don't have burn now. Uh, we don't have burn now. So I can heal is what I was going to say. We could go right, right, right. I think we take this. Go, go. AoE to everybody. We take that hit. Not too shabby. And again, I don't think we pass these up. It's just a bunch of free experience. I, I can't wait to actually utilize the experience. Because I am now hurting a bit. 20 HP gone, just like that. Um, burning Eye, I don't have the money for it. A camp, finally. Okay, I'm going to go for this. Get the health. Down, right, right, right. There we go. So it, we, could, um, we could get our abilities charged up a little by going this way. And getting heals a little bit. Ah, we have to choose. Okay. I do think that going for HP is going to be a good call right now. Snowland or the forest? I'll go to the forest literally because I don't know which one will be better for us. And this does at least start us with this. Okay. Poison Trap inflicts you with 5 poison. You lose 5% health rounded down each turn. Oh my god. Okay. I find it hard to believe we shouldn't just take this path right now while we're kind of hurting a bit. It's no experience. Wait. Where was my ability to use the experience in the campsite? Ah, uh, there was probably a button I missed, yeah? You get two armor points after a battle if you are in a force level. I mean, that seems really helpful. Okay, so that'd be AoE for everybody. Hmm. Down. Get a little right. That's pretty darn good. We, we might be able to stack up lots of armor throughout this level here. Four health points at the start of every level. I mean, I guess I'm going to buy that. Five damage points to the enemy before a battle. If you're poisoned, I don't want that. But we don't have enough money anyways. So down, right, right, right would be here. I don't hate that. We can get, like, super stocked up on armor. A potion, armor, armor. We're going to be absolutely loaded on experience if we make it to the next campsite at the very least, so that's kind of nice. Um, okay. 
That one's free. Then we have to go... Go down, 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 down. Eh. I feel like that's free. That's just... We basically gain two armor as well by doing that. I'm fine with this path. I'm fine with that path. There could be a world where the poison is okay to take, but I just kind of don't really want to go for that right now. Get plenty of armor. Um, take one. Two armor. We could we could take a little bit. We could take a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. Or we could just go right, get the health, kill that guy for free, take the money, go. All right. Oh, oh, I didn't miss anything. Oh, thank God. Oh, the back seating. Oh, the back seating. Thank God. You will randomly kill an enemy. You get a coin. Right, right down will get you a coin. Inflict eight damage points to all enemies if you're poisoned. I'll take this. So you can go down, right, 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 or right, right, down, down, down. Snowland or the Void. The Void sounds a little bit more fun. Inflicts you with Confusion 11. Movement input is inverted while confused. Uh, that actually matters more in this game since it probably... I would assume it tracks differently here. If it's just like you move differently, but you can just play around it, then it's not that big of a deal. Three gold coins at the start of every campsite we could. Mm. This is painful. You know what? Let's science this. Okay. It's literally just... So I press it... It's literally just... Inverted, but it doesn't really matter. I pressed right, and it went down, and it counts as a down. I think it'd be way more interesting is if you press right, and it goes down, but it counts as a right. I think that, that that's a more compelling... Like, would it be annoying? Yeah. But that's a more compelling... Um, issue. Okay. You know, like, I'm fine with just. See, I got got. I got got by the confusion there. I got got by the confusion because I press I pressed right on the last level, but since there was nowhere to go, but right, and I technically pressed down, right let me go right. So I was confused by the fact that I was not confused, but I was confused. Gotcha. Okay. Pressing right let me go right, even though it's not supposed to last on the last level. So I just press it again. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I have no money. I feel like we gotta go for it. We killed a random enemy. Fun. I need to heal. I need to get some armor. Okay, didn't do it here, though. Weird. All right, don't have a whole lot of armor. Ooh, if we go down here, it's gonna be the same situation anyways. This is just really rough. So we need to think about like the future path. Um, down, 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 puts us in a really bad spot. Right, down, down. I mean, I wanna go here, obviously. I'd love to be in this general area. So I guess we're going to have to say oh well to our items or our uh, abilities. We could go for you. Do four damage. So you'd be five. We'd take five. Get the three, three. 
I feel like we can't care. We just can't care right now. Two damage to all is irrelevant. Getting this charged up so we can do a big AoE the second we enter here is nice, though. We can't, we can't say no to that. It's just too tempting. Down, down, down is a random kill. I mean, I'm in pain, like, obviously. Right. I don't love this. Why won't he go up? <laughs> why, won't the, why won't streamer go up? I cringe when he missed the thing. Okay, I think we take this, though. Confusion Trap is more or less irrelevant. It's really just a thing that screws me over. You get one gold coin with every movement if your health is less than 10. Oh my god, and we bump our mic over it. Yeah, going down when you're on the side actually makes a difference there. Interesting. Doesn't matter if you're confused, which is nice. Okay. Like, I pressed it down, and then I pressed it down again, to be clear. That's what we're working with. Volcano, forest. I would like to go to another forest, please. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Oh my god, I got it. We also get a random kill. Nice. We we have to do it. That that sets us like it sets us up so well for this level. Okay, we have enough money for this. You randomly kill an enemy at the start of the level if you're at a wasteland level. Interesting. Down, down, down is terrifying. Uh, hmm. But we're going to be taking a pretty big smacking anyways. Here's the thing. Do I die if I go down, 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 all the way to the bottom and then all the way to the right? Do we die? I think we might. Right, right, right. Oh, we do that instead for now. For now, we do that. So five for this. You get an armor point after battle. That seems so handy right now. All right, let's take that. A, we damage to everybody. Not that it matters. Oh, my God. I could go right, right, but, like, that's so much damage. Your max health is increased by a point when you move to the right onto a trap card. Interesting. Down, right, right, right. We could do that. Ow. If I move here, I can't get this one anyways. I feel like we just... I think we cross, uh, you know, over to that. So we can go down. Could we go down, down, down? Da -da -da -da. Oh boy. Like I could. Obviously, I can get take the money and run. Okay. So if we move down, we get a free kill on a rando. But then I also get poisoned. Five percent health rounded down. Whatever. Oof. Okay, so we could buy this. 10 health points after battle if you are at 10 health or less. You know, it's worth it for me. 
I'll take that poison. It's it's annoying. Like, do I want to have taken that poison? No. Why would I? Okay. Oh, this is pretty rough. This is pretty rough. Down, right, right, right. I could. Do I care? I just... It's basically, how do I get to the camp alive right now? That's just the only concern. Down, down, right. We would have to kill 16 and 16. I mean, we can because of the way that our armor works. Could we live if we moved over here? How does, how does all this shake out? We would get... Two armor, three armor. We would not get green necklace. This seems really good, but we would not get it because we have three armor. Depending on when poison procs, I guess. But like, I don't really want to be poisoned for 12 extra rounds, which is how I assume that works. But we can go down, right, right, right. Which would be 16. We would take 13. This is just a nightmare. I hate that. So we could go... We have to go for the potion, yeah? I mean, I live. Oh my god, that green... This is so good. Green necklace? So good. Alright. Thank god. We're at the camp. Oh, I know this asset... I know this asset pack. I've seen this asset pack before. They probably all are from asset packs then, huh? Eight damage to all enemies if you are poisoned. I mean, it's situational. Five damage to all enemies if you're blinded. You get 10 health points. That seems... Seems worth. Did that replace an ability? No, I just didn't have another one. Volcano or void? I'll be real, the void penalty was a lot less scary than the, um, than the fire penalty. Do I probably die anyways? Yeah. So we get a random kill if we do this. We I preemptively thought I was voided. Rip. I preemptively already thought I was voided. Ouch. I wanted to go for the heal, obviously. I'm alive, I'm alive. We can move to the right and do the blast, or we could just move... Am I voided? I am voided. Neat. Okay. But at the same time, I have made my bed, and now I have to lie in it on this. Holy crap. Thank God for that healing. This item is busted. Busted. I am maybe dead now? Maybe? Uh, do I have void? I have so much void. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is very important. Press down to go right. Okay. Two armor points after a battle if you're in a void level. I would love that. I think it's worth taking. I'm going to get a heal as well from this. Good. 29 out of 50. <laughs> uh, 25. We would get the heal out of that, wouldn't we? Yeah, right? 25. Would put us... Oh, my God. Bad. Oh, no. We'd be, we'd be at 11. We have three armor. We have three armor. Oops. Oy. Okay, um... Well, in that case... 
Five damage to the enemy before battle if you're on a void level. I mean, I guess I could. I am voided. A fool I am. This is... It, it is... This is a silly one. Because it's mechanically... It's just... It serves to annoy the player, right? It doesn't do anything to make the run harder, aside from the fact that it annoys the player, which... It's fine. Like, as you play more, it'll be fantastic. You'd be like, you go for that every time. Um. We don't get this if we... Ay, ay, ay. Weird. Weird. We have eight armor, five there. Okay, so we could go down, we could get a rando kill. I can actually get another one of these. And maybe get a heal in the mix. Yeah? Heal for ten, we get another one of those. So we theoretically do ten damage to an enemy before a battle. Seems good. Obviously, we're not going to be in the void anymore, which is rough. But what are you going to do? Okay, go down. Fight the fool. Should I have taken the potion? Maybe. I have 22 confused still. Holy moly. Okay. Right. Technically down. Down. Right. Right. I guess we don't need to go right, but uh, forest level. We're good at forest levels. I mean, we're better at forest levels than other things. How many freaking... How far does it go? Level 50? 50, 50 levels! Okay. Uh, I actually don't need to heal. So. Question is, should I kill for the sake of kill? Though? Like, I... It would be for abilities. And I don't know if I need it. I'm not poisoned. We could go... Not bad. It's fine. We can take a little bit of that poison, especially if we get the healing. Okay, well, we're not going to get that healing right now. Uh, what do we got here? Add five points to all potion cards when you move to a poison, uh, poison trap. Interesting. So, and it also seems like it's probably the best call. I don't really need the heal, but I will do it, I guess, because I think I want to go for this anyways. Okay, my uh, my Confuse is worn off. But has it really? Two armor points when you move down and you're poisoned. <laughs> Interesting. So this is kind of like, do I want to kill this thing? Do I want to attack this thing? I don't know how worth it is. We get three armor. After killing. Ay, ay, ay. Random kill. Oh my god, we got lucky. I mean, did we? We get seven poison. Poison is one of the, probably the most annoying of them. Because it's just like, you know, you will take all this damage. You just will. Okay. But it seems like it comes with some unique potential benefits. It's hard to say no to this, but then we have to take the poison. Which, seven poison is 5% of our health. Right? 5% of our health every round. For seven rounds. It's, like, not that worth it. But it's not not worth it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. More poison. So how much do we take per round? Oh, God. And if we move down, we do heal. Which is nice. 
And we do get that extra potion business. We take two damage per. Two health points after battle if you are on a forest level. So every time we do that, we at least cleanse even. Uh, we go right for sure out of those. Uh, ten poison. Ten poison. Add two points to all potion cards. Add two points to all armor cards. Your max health is increased by a point. Write down, write down. Oh my god, when am I going to remember that? I mean, those are both good, though. I mean, I'll tell you what. We obviously go down one. I think we go down one again to um, heal up to full. Well, only to be reduced. Void or Volcano. We we are much better at Void. Much better at Void. We do 10 damage to fools before we attack on the Void. We should be like... We should be cracked here. It just seemed like a really good combo for getting lots of armor. Okay. Uh, down. All right. Heal up for five or something. This is maybe going to be the, one of the first times where I actually feel kind of strong for a bit. Will it feel that way for a long time? I don't think so. Okay. Oh my god, look at this, though. Look at this, though! We have 36 armor all of a sudden! You could absolutely just obliterate A level so much that you're fine for a long time. One coin, one coin at the start of each level if you're on a void tile. I mean, don't get me wrong, it sounds good. Void me up. Three gold coins to start the campsite. Don't mind if I do. I mean, we're at full here, so let's just keep moving. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I love it. Please, I never want to leave the void. Do we have a max cap? No. I don't know if I want to spend my money on that. Well, we can't anyways. I don't know if I would have wanted to spend my money on that. We're at full. Right, right, right. Maybe? Man. If I could be in the void for the rest of my life, I think I'd have a, a wonderful time here. Uh, okay. I guess Wasteland. We do kill an enemy at the start of each Wasteland level. Oh my god. I, ah. Again, I wish that they wouldn't do the, ki the quote-unquote kind thing. When I press right, or, uh, when I pr sorry, when I press down, I move down, but I'm meaning to press, you know what I'm, ah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's accidentally generous by saying, oh, you probably meant to press down because you're confused. You have confused. You probably meant this. And it allows you to do it when in reality it would be better if it wasn't generous. And because then it just leads you to press the same button twice to move uh, down when you meant to move in another direction. It's just kind of, it's a little, it's a weird thing where you wouldn't think that a game being generous would actually cause that kind of a problem. But it it does in a weird way. It's okay. We didn't miss out on very much as a result of that. Okay, we kill the random enemy there. I mean, we are we're back into spooky zone. Do 
We have so much armor. Uh, so we see... I see a 40... 49 damage path to the end. I see a... Uh, much more than 49 path to the end. I feel like we take the... I feel like at this point we just take the 49 path to the end. We only have so much armor and, like, I, I mean, we're fine for right now, but, like, maybe we won't be. Okay, we got that random kill here. We could go... Go to the right. We do two damage to everybody. Or we could just go down. I am blind. I do not like blinds. I... Oh, that's not an enemy! I see. Th this is a trap. That looks like an enemy to me. I thought... I just, it makes sense. Don't get me wrong. It makes sense. Uh, that is wretched, though, for us. I'm at the whims of the world. Oh, that is... That is the worst one. Oh, that is for sure the worst one. It means you can't play strategically. Oh, I don't like that. I wish... Oh, I don't like that at all. I wish that, um... It at the very least lets you see two tiles away. Because it's still... Like, don't get me wrong. Is it a debuff? Absolutely. But seeing really only in a one tile radius, like I can see a 30 something here and I can, ass I actually don't know. I can't deduce what enemy it is because they would look the same. I'm assuming it's going to be an enemy that with 30 though. Um, that That's rough. That's really, really, really rough. So like I die if I go to the right, I, probably. So that means I have to put this on again. There's a coin over there, I think. trying to get the heal at this point. Okay, what did I get? Two armor points to all armor cards when you move down and you're blinded. Great. It's not gonna matter, though, I don't think. Unless there is an... Oh my god, unless there's an armor right below us. That'll help a lot, actually. Eight. One damage point to all enemies with each movement if you have zero armor points. That seems nice. I mean, I'm alive. I freaking did it. I'm alive. That was that was rough, and I do not like blind. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, good armor up. See, like, look at this. I can't even see, I can't even see what spells I want to buy. This is not a good. You need you need one extra tile radius on this debuff. Otherwise, it's just if you are blind, you don't get to make strategic decisions. <laughs> like, that's not a good debuff. Um, so we can't heal ourselves down, down. Now we can't. We can't heal ourselves with our spell, that is. We could, theoretically, if we go to the right, though. Your max health is increased by point. I guess I'll buy that. Oh my god, is that a void? A void! There's a chance! There's a freaking chance! I love the void! Blast them! Um, we might as well go right down. I could take that. What's down there? There's potions. If we go right down again, we get another max HP up, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I can't hover over this to see what it does. Five health points. You get five health points at the start of every level if you're confused. Oh, great. That's my secret cap. I'm always confused. We're going to be uh, unblinded in two, uh, two levels here. Oh, I mean, I don't need health, so I might as well get confused. So now we're moving backwards. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, 
hey, we're, we're good on the void level. I have a feeling we will have to fight one more level after that's not void. So we really just need to figure out how to get as much uh, armor as possible. That or we need to cross our fingers that we're going to be in a void level. We could go down, 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 get a random kill. You go right, 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 down. Oh, God. We could. I don't want to, though. I don't want to. That's That was intentional. I don't want to. Rando kill. Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. Down one, I could get a heal. But then I'd have to fight all of those guys, which seems terrifying at the moment. Yeah. We have 11 uh, confused still. One point, one point to all potion cards after battle. Hmm. We could get another axe. Are we confused that we are? Fifteen damage to enemies on this level. <laughs> um, down, down. We could kill a random enemy. I like this. It gets it gets us the heal. All right. I'm assuming this will take... We can go up to 45 and then we got a camp. We do have a camp afterwards, which... Yeah, it's not bad. Am I confused still? I am. Alright. I'm just moving it. Alright, what do we got? Wasteland. The freaking wasteland. We don't we don't have anything good on any of these, really, do we? I don't think we're. I don't think. I mean, we have the one thing for the wasteland, which means I probably should go for the wasteland. The debuff on here is f you lose healing. get a max HP up there at the very least. And we get lots of armor. That was the correct way to move through that that world. The question is do we I think we I think we go down here. We get the random Oh, son of a gun. Ah! Oh, boy. 14. We could chart out a path. We have... I will... I'm going to be mixed up by the fact that we have one rank of Confuse right now. Uh... Oh, boy. What is the path? What is the path? This is this is really rough. I think that we could go. If we go down, we get a free kill, which is kind of what I was banking on. Okay, go over here. Do we really? Oh my god, I don't want to. I just I can't. I can't. Right. Oh boy. 26. Is it 10 or less or less than 10? It says are less than 10. It specifically says that. I don't care about the forest level item. Either we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. We're dead. Right? I 
I bought this stupid item that I didn't want to buy. Because what else was I going to do? And now I'm blind. It's literally up to RNG now. Oh my god. Do I move down to get a random kill somewhere on the map? Or do I get the four health? I feel like the four health is more concrete. Oh! Huge! Random kill. Even though it means we're going to get blinded. That was rough. That was rough. I'm blind for another 11. I killed something random. 40 something. It's more armor. There's a coin here. Ah, uh, that sucks. I hate the blind. I hate that blind status effect. Truly is brutal. Truly is very, very brutal. It really lets it. I mean, makes it so you can't can't make strategic decisions, which should not be a a um a status effect. Should usually make it so you have to make more strategic decisions to you know, overcome it, usually. But that is just, like, takes away... It just takes away all the choices that you have and boils it down to two instead of, like, you know, eight. It needs... 100% needs to be a two-tile radius. Uh, either way, though, very cool game. Like, just... It does a uh, collection so, coming soon or something. It takes a, uh, a simple concept and it makes it actually very, very strategic. The game this reminds me the most of is Forward Escape the Fold, uh, for sure, for sure. This is, I feel like, a little bit more strategic than that. This is like, what if that game had some more, like, extra strategic elements uh, tied on top of it in a way that I find very, very compelling. I will say, like, yeah, using the Slay the Spire font and the uh, Slay the Spire l l character screen, I'm not usually one who cares about that, and I don't really care about it, but I will say it is kind of weird. Like, it doesn't have to. Like, why, I mean, why invite the comparison? Why invite the comparison when the game has nothing to do with it? Uh, but, so what are the other characters here? You remove all of your, all of your altered status and gain three armor points for each one of them. That's pretty cool. You get three armor points at the start of every level. What is the Necromancer? You inflict five damage points distributed among all enemies. The power of the skill increases with every enemy killed. Using it reduces your max of health by two points. What the hell? Oh, but your max HP is increased by one every two battles. See, that's a very, that's very, very interesting. Um, seems like there's some kind of scaling capacity to the difficulty here, uh, or something. Elemental dungeon, win the run by reaching level 50, unlock the next dungeon in the full game. Elemental dungeon, so is there like a, what do you mean by that, by elemental dungeon? Maybe it's not a difficulty system. I would assume it would be if we uh, unlock it that way, but I don't know. Uh, but there's gonna be full characters, uh, when does this game come out? Oh, this comes out on the 18th? What the heck? It's it's pretty abnormal to um, have a game... Also, I love how low they are in the frame here. It's like, bump, at least bump them up, man. They're like... They're just in the bottom right corner. It's like, learn to take a selfie, okay? But uh, yeah, usually games don't enter into the next fest and then come out so quickly. It has, I've played some that have done it before, but uh, that's shocking. That's a very, very quick turnaround. This is one of the rare demos that we're going to be covering in the week or so uh, that is going to be out, like, right now, basically. And by right now, I mean, uh, you know, in a, a week or so. So, yeah, wishlist this game. I would say that this is a very... If it has three completely different characters and you can play all the way up to that level 50, this is a pretty chunky demo. Like, you could totally get some mileage out of this demo. Like, you, you could play lots of hours just of this, but hopefully if you like it, you will then go on to pick up the game on the 18th, uh, October 18th. Make sure you check it out. Link will be at the top of the description. But uh, alas, alas, that is that. It's going to do it here for today. Um, 
check out Olenki's video on it too. I'm, I'm sure he has one up. He doesn't at the time of this recording. This is being recorded super in advanced. I assume it'll he'll have one. Uh, Alexa, if you don't know who Olenki is, Alexa, he's a whole subverse member, uh, a member of the kind of crew that I run with more or less. Uh, good guy, go check it out. But alas, it out, <laughs> it it being the video, not it being Olenki. Uh, thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more. If you enjoy this video, if you want to check out new stuff every single day in the roguelike genre, this is a wonderful place for you to be subscribed to. Every single day, a hot new roguelike roguelite, sometimes branching out more, but always in the general kind of um, arm reach of what you would be familiar with with the genre. Like, it may be a dungeon crawler, but not a roguelike. It may be you know, a deck builder, but not a roguelike. But it's generally always in that kind of arm reach area. So, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Rogue some more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!